Hey guys, it's Zachary Moon, and today we're going to be doing a natural brow drag. We're going to try to use uh, most of my natural brow. If you see, we're using like 75% 75, 75 of it, I would say. And we're blocking out just the little end of it, just the tip. And I have with me Michelle, 20 plus years professional makeup artist. And she's going to be beating my face today for the gods. So right now, we've, um, we've glued down the, the tip of the eyebrows. We did the concealer, the orange, to cover up all the dark spots, the pigmentations. You know, I got a lot, bitch. You see, all, you see all this orange? I look like an old man, girl. But we got to be old to get to the beauty. Now we're going to put the foundation. We've let it set in and it's dried. We sprayed some, uh, sprayed some um, setting spray on it just so, so we could set that in. And now what I'm going to go in is normally we go a little bit lighter. I'm going to go a little bit darker with the illuminating um shimmer to it this is going to be the it um where's the camera okay i see it cc i mean it's mine but we're gonna i want to go a little darker and give you a little bit more color so this is what we're gonna do now now we're just gonna apply and you're gonna work it quick mm -hmm. and you're gonna tap that in because we do want to cover that orange could be a bronze goddess that's the look we're going for we're going for a little bit more of a miami latina look today chicka chicka cha cha arriba you can tell already it's giving you a nice bronze look. Go ahead and take a look in the camera and yeah. see. It's oh a nice satin finish. Already, girl. This is one of my all-time inexpensive... Um, Before? Mm -hmm. After? Uh, love this uh, foundation. Um, I have to get that. Yeah, it's really, really good. And what I love about it is it's inexpensive. Um, and it's got everything in it. So what you're looking at is it's got a CC cream in it. It's got, um, I don't even know. I don't even want to give out what's not in there. It's color illuminating, full coverage cream, anti-aging, hydrating serum. Your skin is sucking up a lot of the color. So we're going to work with it and we're really going to get you that wet. We want it wet, as wet as possible because the wetter it is, the more coverage we're going to get in smearing it on. For me, is that's my process. Now, as you can tell, as we're getting in there and covering all this orange, it barely looks as if you had. Why isn't it this easy for me? It's already full fucking coverage. Yeah. Excuse my language, full coverage. Yeah, okay. you've got a nice, see, we're going to give you a nice. I feel like pheromone. Yeah, you, you have a nice, beautiful glow to you we're going to give you. So it's a nice girly look. It's a nice That's coverage. That's what we're going for. We're going for fish. time to cool off our face and just yes let it dry so the great thing is is that as his face dries um we're gonna get uh what i like to say is we're gonna do the highlighter um now normally a lot of people will come in and they will pat and beat that but i'm not trying to make you i i want to continue with the glow so no. i don't want to take that away from you right now oh my God. so we basically want all that to set in mm-hmm Okay, so now we've set and we've let the foundation kind of settle into the skin, absorb as much as it can. The great thing about this illuminating product is, as you can see, it's, his skin is very illuminating. Um, and again, that's not a filter. This is the foundation itself um, is giving you that beautiful, beautiful, flawless, Just silky creamy satin. look. Yeah. Mm. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply some um, concealer and we're going to do some contouring. <music>
a light beat. We're not trying to go really in, but we're trying to do like a little flawless. And this is what you would do. <laughs> That sponge, wet it. Soak it up. If you're using a good um, dark color, it shouldn't bleed out that bad. It should be able to blend really easily, like you see when you add the water. So you see how it blended mm -hmm. phenomenally. <laughs> A lot of people forget to get under there, but again, you want it to make it look, we want to make it look, mine goes up and I want it to be a little bit more symmetrical. Now I'll probably come back in with a highlighter or bronzer on that nose. <laughs> apply the banana powder setting powder and set you up just a little mm -hmm. and like I say when you're doing darker we're gonna use more of a banana color yellow we're doing like a very bronzy look now normally on your pale skin we or when we're doing really fair we do a nice um, call me snow white yeah we do like a little uh, lighter setting powder but because today we're going for more of the suntan look we're going to use a banana All right so we're going to come in with the small brush again very light can you see that mm -hmm. she has shape yes beautiful mm -hmm. Now I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to contour down here. Shop Beverly Hills, stop, and we are going to be using medium brown, dip brown pomade. Pomade. So she's there. 
Yeah. So now we're going to draw these back. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Lady Vivalor, and I wanted to take a minute to talk about a product that I absolutely love. It's NYX's Glitter Brilliance. This is the silver one, and it just adds that beautiful little sparkle to your beat, and just makes you look fabulous like I do today. Well, anyways guys, we're gonna get back to Zachary.